Uh, placebos were hunting my dream last night. The trigger wise was unusually an act of despicable sense of history. Pulled against my eyes and the target seemed to say there was a mystery in me worth somehow learning about. Shout as I was, I cut it in half looking for the brain, the past, the thing that would give me a sense of the Bunsen burner's history. I wanted more than the morgue of life on my autopsy table that would give me a cheer, a wonderful dance, a systematized sense that taps me on the shoulder and invites me into the dance. What the hell is going on when life falls through you like a mortar? Butters, I say to myself, the insecurity of it all leaves me somewhat appalled at all the things I have no courage for. And yet I take it inside, pride there in that full portraiture of the best of your life falls apart before the dull knife cuts the air you breathe and leaves you puffing on that Freudian cigar. <laughs> and the star in this heaven comes to say to me, hey, Jolie, wake up, stuff. I take the hand grenade out of that passage of my days and throw it in the air. The pin, of course, removes a parable sense of sound that records the abounding sense of the steps I take. I'm better than that, I say. I'm no mistake for this life to be. I'm the cold, cruel crater in a moon of full light. I laugh at that. I know the paper moon of that insinuation is less than I could ever be. I'm better than that, I say. The abacus comes and visits me and slips under my door of dreams and asks me to repeat myself. Of course I can. I improvise. <laughs> But something more to be the shoulder, the great guest of it all, stands in front of me. Sweet, in such sensuality, I am reacting to it. I have no control. I'm young again. I'm rolling all over. My stretcher bearers on overtime have shoved to the end of the page. I take it inside and pride comes and takes me in. I say, drink? Something to think about before your age found its little egg that hatched and left you in bad toilet training? Was democracy something that threatened you? Or did you find the advocacy of your life had to be witnessed by that jury that would remember you? And you hated being remembered. You always wanted to be poetic. Oh, babies. I turned away from this thing and heard the zippered sound on this tent. This wonderful bullet that would not fire. And if it did, the ire of its house would be something more than windows open than popes to say in their red shoes, asking me to tap dance. I needed something more than the blues, something more than history, something more than me. Where could I find that? How about here? <laughs> Tranquility, it came in the bounce of it all. Before I left and the name came to yell at me like a fire that would have no responsibility, it made me feel tight and wondrous. Not young again. Back there I was in that little cauldron of disrespect. But here wise where the full moon visits me with its gentle light and tells me my shadow is worth history. Inside, I say, let's hide for a while. Let's touch without responsibility, but not without the poetic sense that's dissimilar from that which finds its darkness. For the goodness in us, we are pure light. And I rest a while. I begin to smile. Feels uncomfortable. But it feels right. I bend away. Wait for the calendar of yesterdays to come and tell me they're over. In that haystack, I find that pin. I begin again. And I say, good night. Oh.